I look back on my 20s. It's supposed to be the prime of your life, the most vital, the most beautiful, but you're making your critical decisions and sometimes your most critical mistakes. Anne Bracheris. Hey there, Lux Babes. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to jump right into the topic. We're going to talk about mistakes to avoid in your 20s. Some of these mistakes I've made myself, some I haven't, but I see a lot of girls making it and I'm like, ish. I wish someone was there to tell them. And so without further ado, let's jump into the video. Number one, trying to be a stunt double. I cannot emphasize this enough. Your superpower is that you are you, right? There are just so many literal carbon copies that I see online of each other. That it's just like, can we get some variety please, right? I'm sure this is happening in real life because we see it in social media and social media is pretty much just like a magnifying glass on how people would behave anyway if they were put in that same environment. And I see that a lot of girls are literally mimicking each other to the T. Like being inspired by someone's style is one thing, but make it your own. Being inspired by someone's success, make it your own, right? Some of these girls are literally like copying and pasting personalities. It is unnecessary. Who you are is gold. Who you are is already intact. Like you ain't gotta do all that. And this is how you're gonna find your tribe anyway. In the process of trying to be someone else, you're gonna forget who you are, right? And if you ever decide that you want to find yourself, it's gonna be a long journey. Okay, so the 20s are a year to discover. Like I'm all about discovering, like I'm still discovering, but make sure you're being as authentic to yourself as possible. Number two, skipping opportunities to avoid disappointing your parents. Come closer, ladies, come on. Always remember if you're faced with staying small versus disappointing your parents, disappoint your parents. Do not pick staying small. Do not do that. I can tell you right now, 99.99999% of a time, even those dreams of yours that your parents don't support, they will come to be proud of you if you build it. At the end of the day, although our parents do our best and they're looking out for us, a lot of their life lessons and the life decisions and life advice that they give us stems out of their fear. They are projecting their fear on us. They're saying you can't do that thing because they couldn't do that thing. But you remember, we also live in different times. And yes, our parents did the best with what they had, but you are not your parents. I totally understand wanting to make your parents proud and I guarantee you that you will. If you have a burning desire to go after that thing, you do that. Your parents will jump on board. I promise you. Remember I said 99.9%. .9%. That's because I always leave room for that 0.01, right? Exception. But for the most part, I don't care how traditional your background is, right? Your parents just want to see you do well. And a lot of times if they've, followed a certain path, they assume that that's the only way that works and they're trying to keep you safe. That's what they're doing. But we all know that like your superpowers lie outside of your comfort zone, right? That is where you're gonna do anything significant. So please, once again, when you get the chance to stay small or disappoint your parents, take that L, take the temporary L, okay? Because in the future, vision wise, they'll come to see it, right? Number three is lack of discipline. This one is the keyest of all keys. If you don't hear anything else I say in this video, remember this point. Your 20s is your time to live it up. Your 20s is your time to explore. Your 20s is your time to figure out what you like, what you don't like, et cetera, et cetera. However, you have to have discipline when it comes to your life. I'm talking in your friendship choices, in your business acumen, in your relationships, everything you need to be disciplined the difference between the person that i feel like crosses the threshold of success and the person that stays where they are is lack of discipline i don't care how talentless you think you are there's something you have that the world values right the reason that a lot of us really never make it to that optimum level is because we start we stop, we get distracted, we start going after other things that are not even in line with what we're really trying to do. We can't set the right habits, you know, to do the thing that we want to do. We're lukewarm, we're half-assing things, 
right? When you get the choice to go and party, party for the next seven days or sit home and build that course you've wanted to, you choose to party. Why? Because your friends are doing it. You're forgetting that your friends are not going where you're going. You're forgetting that your friends don't have the same goals that you have, right? When you listen to any young athlete, you name it, whether it's Shikari, Simone Biles, Naomi Osaka, any one of those people will tell you that there are sacrifices that have to be made. Venus and Serena talk about it all the time. Now, it's not for everybody. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying miss out on your childhood because you're trying to do adult things. I'm just saying that if you have a vision, right? If you have somewhere that you need to go, you're gonna have to be disciplined, right? By all means, find your balance. Reward yourself when you've had a really productive week, right? Go out and celebrate on the weekends, whatever it is. All I'm saying is if you lack the ability to say no to things of the now, you will miss out on the blessings and the abundance of the later. And that's that. Number four, going to college without a clear idea of what it is that you're gonna do with your degree. This one matters. Many of us go to school because our parents said to go to school or our sisters went to college or our friends are going to college. This is such a terrible reason. Even if you're on a full ride, okay? But especially if you're taking loans, you are literally going into debt and you don't even know what you're gonna do with your life or what that degree is gonna serve for you. Let me tell you a little secret right now. Not only is college not for everyone, but even the people that go into college knowing what they want to do, rarely ever use their degree. I did it. Got my marketing degree and I don't work in marketing. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't know that I learned anything that I didn't already naturally understand, okay? Now, if you wanna be a doctor, please go to school, right? You wanna be an attorney, yes. Like we'd like, I wouldn't want somebody operating on me that didn't actually get, you know, get the practicals in. So there are different fields where it actually makes sense. I'm simply saying don't go to school just for the sake of going to school, right? Those four years are crucial. A lot can happen in four years, right? If you have another something else that you would like to do that does not require a degree, especially in this age of YouTube where you can find anything online, educate yourself. There's so many digital courses out there for like a tenth of what you would pay for a degree, right? But if it's just something that you're doing as a form of completion because it was your personal goal and you want to go, and again, you have something like a free ride or a grant, have at it, okay? The college experience is great for other things besides getting an education. I'm just saying that like, if you don't fit into any of that, right? If you're taking out loans to go to school, if you don't know any other reason why you're going, you don't even have a, a major in mind, right? Or you have a major, but you don't know why you're majoring in it. Why? Why are you doing things just because your parents told you to do it? Remember, we already touched on this earlier. A lot of people went to school working jobs that they don't want to work just to make their parents proud. They are married to spouses that they don't exactly love or feel like they can build with just because their parents wanted them to. Why do you want to live a miserable life? Why? Don't do that in your 20s. Don't do that ever. Because your 20s are going to set you up for your 30s. Your 30s are going to set you up for your 40s, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let's move on. Okay, number five is over diversifying. Okay, I've made this mistake, but not really. But yes, I have. Okay, and let me tell you what that means. That means that as a person of many talents or interests, should we say, you find yourself all over the place. Today, you're a photographer. Next week, you're an accountant. The week after that, you want to start a whole full-blown business, a, a fashion business. Then you, I mean, you're just all over the place, right? And even if you are good at all these things and capable of building a brand around these things, because you have not taken your time to hone in on one of them, all of them are suffering, right? And that's just common business 101. You are allowed to diversify in business, but you must focus on one, build it up to a certain point to where you can delegate and then have other people run that, certain parts of it, and then you bring up, you know, bring on something else under the umbrella, right? But a lot of people in their 20s, they just all over the place. I get it, the 20s are your years to discover, as I said earlier, right? But it doesn't mean run around like a chicken with your head cut off, right? You gotta have some type of method to the madness. All right, here's another one. Focusing on looks versus reality. This is a, a no. Okay, that's all I can say about this one. It's a no for me dog. And I say that because social media does not pay your bills, babe. And if you're still living with your parents, social media will not build your bank account. 
my love. So if you're hauling clothes, shoes, bags, just for the sake of being able to look expensive online, just so you can keep up with the trends, you're spending all your money from your little job or your allowances on things that will never give back to you, you're doing it all wrong, darling. Even if you don't have big dreams to start a business or make any type of difference in the world, the point is you're not living according to your reality. You're only worrying about what stuff looks like. And remember that these people that you're trying to impress are not gonna bail you out on a rainy day. You understand? So you always have to have your rainy day funds intact. And the only way to do that is to focus on what your life really is versus what it looks like to people. We live in a time where branding is a thing, right? How you project yourself online is how people receive you. And that's fair, okay? I'm not saying don't have a polished look. I'm saying don't go broke by a designer when you can't afford a meal the next morning. It's not logical. And to be honest, it's never been a requirement to be successful. So if your goal is to be successful, focus on the actions that are required versus trying to look successful while staying broke, if that makes sense. Oh, number seven, I had to save the best for last, instant gratification, my love. Many people waste their 20s chasing after instant gratification. You just need that now, 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 now. You need the likes now, you need the follows now, you need the comments now, you need the latest, everything I just talked about in number six, right? You keep thinking about how the thing is gonna benefit you right now, today, versus what the next seven years is gonna look like. Now, this is a tricky one also that you have to balance, okay? I'm not asking you to like deprive yourself of the finer things in life, just for the sake of saying that you're, you know, building a future. I'm saying find a balance, right? Understand that there are gonna be some sacrifices that you have to make now to help you move on. Say that you're building a business. Maybe you won't have money to go to the movies. You won't have money to go shopping with your friends at the mall or get your nails done or whatever it is that you're gonna to have to give up. But it's gonna be worth it in the long run because whatever it is that you're building is gonna give you that tenfold. Does that make sense? And you can think of this in really anything. Again, even if it's relationships, right? You're focusing on how can I find a man now? How can he do this for me now? And how can we now, now, now versus, okay, you know what? How can I build my thing and possibly have some support? Or how can we together start a thing and do that? Does that make sense? That is futuristic thinking. That's visionary, um, spiritual, what's the word? Connections spiritual partnership rather, right? And if you're not seeing me for the first time, you already know I'm about the single team too. So like, I'm not saying you have to have a man, okay? I'm not saying you need a man to do anything. I'm just saying that like, if that were your route, if you are one of those lovers and you have to always have be in a relationship, then make sure that you're not rushing the thing because you need the thing right now, okay? I hope I said a lot because I really sound like I just said nothing, but if you get it, you get it. That's it, ladies. That's all I got for you, my loves. If you have anything to add in, Drop them down in the comments. If you are new to me, welcome. If you returned, welcome back. This channel is all about empowering you to be whatever it is that you imagine that you can be while maintaining stability in all areas of your life, whether that's emotional, financial, mental, and physical. Thank you for being here. We are building something special. And until next time, always remember that luxury is first built in the heart and not in the pocket. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>